here in this video I am going to demo the use of for loop in JavaScript by creating a multiplication table I have created a basic HTML document structure okay uh, I'm going to create a multiplication table so I need uh, two numbers for example if I want to get uh, multiplication table of eight uh, I had to provide eight and how many uh, number of uh, uh, till how many number you want to get the multiplication okay so we need I'm providing a couple of input fields for here input type is equal to number and I'm providing an identifier for that I'm providing num1 okay and uh, I'm creating another input field num2 okay I have then I want to have a command button right so when cl user click on a button I want to execute I want to create a multiplication table button So here I want to get this two number ended by the user. For that I'm creating a function. Function. I'm creating a function named uh, inside the particular function. I'm creating a couple of variables. In order to create variable, we need to use the keyword var. Maybe x equal to document dot get element by id num1 dot value variable y we get the value 2 and uh, I want to create multiplication table so I want to iterate uh, this x and y using for loop for var i is equal to 0 i less than y so if you should provide 8 and 10 value y as 10 i want to get 1 into 8 2 into 8 3 into up to 10 okay so i am providing y as parse int because we get the percent y okay i plus plus then i want to calculate x into y okay so i'm creating a text text equal to an empty string to this empty string txt equal to here I'm going to create a table HTML table okay table and uh, to this particular table I'm going to add a row
so here I have uh, created a table row and uh, here this is one of the column this is uh, another column and here I have provided i into uh, x means uh, I have to parse parse int of x okay so I have passed the integer this particular string to integer and uh, multiplied that with i i value will be up to the value of y okay so we are getting those information from this two text box okay now i have to close this particular tab after iteration we need to close the table right now we want to display this information somewhere right we have created a table text right html text in dynamically and i want to place this text somewhere okay for that i am creating a div for the div i am providing an id equal to result and uh, that div can be accessed document dot get element by id what is the id here the result is the id which i have given right okay result dot div is a a block tag that contains other html elements right this is a table is an other html element div is a container of other html elements so there is a attribute called inner html so the inner html of this particular div is so whatever the content that can be placed inside this particular div is this particular html text we created in this particular variable i am going to place that equal to txt okay so this is the text txt variable uh, that variable contains the dynamically created text okay that we are going to place here okay now the next thing is that uh, we have to place we have created a function named table okay i am going to call that particular function on click of the button okay on click I'm calling that particular function okay now save this file save all now expand this is the page okay right click open with so here we have two text box I'm providing 5 I want to get uh, multiplication till 15 so we didn't get result so we have to see the issue browser and I'm inspecting the page and checking the console okay here it is giving the error txt is not defined line number 17 txt is not defined okay the issue is that i provided uh, this particular thing outside the function that is a problem okay so while getting any issue what we need to do right click inspect go to the so tab and see what is the issue with uh, if you click console we can see if there is an er any error is there or not okay so what we need we need to cut this and paste here okay so we if you declare if you declare a variable that is not visible outside a function actually here we have created a variable named txt 
that is visible only within this particular block of code it is not visible outside earlier we put this particular line outside the function that is why we got the error okay now if we save and uh, open the web page Now I got multiplication of 6, 1 into 6, 6, 12, 16, 24, right? Up to 6 into 12, that is 72, okay? Now if you want uh, to make the table more, uh, if you want to provide a border, we can provide B border equal to 1. file save all so here we can see multiplication of 8 till 100 so this is a multiplication table ok so 8 into 100 is 800 right so we got a multiplication table dynamically based on the value if you want to get till 1000 so it will create a multiplication table till uh, 1000 okay dynamically based on user input okay so things are working as we expected if you want to clear the this particular table what we can do i want to clear the table so what we can do here i can provide another button button slash I'm naming the button as clear on click I want to call a function mm, function clear okay clear data some function I created okay and this particular thing has to clear this particular div now this particular div user click on this particular multiplication table button the div has a inner html right now i want to clear that when user click on clear button so what we need to do we have to make this inner html equal to empty so nothing should be there right and we can call this particular function on click of on click clear data now I am saving this and uh, go and refresh then now I am providing 3 and multiplication table till uh, uh, 10 is 30 when I clear it's disappeared right I hope you got some idea how to um, how to do things okay now if you want to clear this again if you want to create And if you want to clear, clear that. Okay. If you want to clear, I hope you got some idea about how to create, uh, how to use for loop. Okay. For loop has a uh, initial value and uh, condition and um, increment. Okay. The for loop logic can be written using while loop as well. In order to do that, we can use. while okay what we need to do he we need to have a condition sorry we need to have a counter variable okay 
so i is equal to 1 i less than this particular thing that should be the condition okay and i plus plus should be we need to uh, make we need to exit the loop right uh, for that somehow we need to make this condition false right so we need to increment the value of i when it reaches uh, i less than or equal to y it will exit right now i can copy this thing and i can paste that okay so i can comment this in order to comment uh, in javascript we need to use slash star for multi line comment if you want single line comment we can use double slash similar to c or c plus plus and if you want multi line comment we have to i want to comment from here to here okay so that block of code won't be executed okay so here uh, we have created mm, earlier we did using for loop now we modified that with while loop let's see the output file save and uh, we have to go to the web page and uh, refresh that and provide uh, 2 and multiplication of 2 till 20 multiplication table 2 into 20 is 40 right okay now if I clear clear the table okay I hope you got some idea what is uh, how to uh, I trade using while loop and how to I trade using a for loop in uh, JavaScript. This is similar to C or C++ and Java syntax. Thanks for watching this.